York City demanding some answers as to why they cannot track city school buses. A bill was passed last February to outfit every school bus with GPS. This after some frequent delays and missing school buses last year. Well, the deadline to get that done, that was two months ago. News 4's Erica Byfield live at City Hall. And Erica, almost two dozen lawmakers we're hearing slamming the Department of Education. Yeah, they really are, Stacey. These lawmakers are calling this unacceptable, and they aren't the only ones. The parents equally as frustrated that the DOE says it needs more time to pull this off. It's really sad that the Department of Education isn't honest about what's really going on with the buses. Beth Pilchik's son, Matthew, has autism and takes a school bus. It's about a 45-minute ride from the Upper East Side to 95th in Columbus. She knows because she gave her 8-year-old a cell phone and paid for an app. I have no choice. You know, I need to know where that bus is. Her concern, like many other parents, bus breakdowns, late arrivals, and this November 2018 storm where thousands of kids got stuck on school buses. After that, there was sweeping change at City Hall, a twofold mandate. The DOE outfit buses that shuttle 150,000 students to school with GPS and offer parents a tracking app by the start of this school year. DOE had ample time to get the GPS apps working and to the parents. And now they're saying next year, next academic year, not good enough. Within the last week, he and 21 other lawmakers pinned a stern letter to DOE's chancellor demanding an immediate explanation, adding that a full year behind schedule is essentially breaking the law. We're saying get it done now. Uh, make sure that we have the tracking as soon as possible. A DOE rep told News 4, we successfully installed GPS on every bus by the start of the first day of school, but tracking isn't ready. The exact reason for the holdup unknown, but we do know that DOE tasked the rideshare company via to develop the app at a cost of $36 million. Parent Beth called the delay in the app rollout outrageous. But on Monday, our bus broke down, and we got a call that the bus was broken down, happened to have been in Manhattan, but they didn't know when we were going to be picked up. So that, that started a chain of events, which was calling other parents, getting in my car, getting to school, waiting so my child can get there on time, because if my child is late and he's unregulated, then his day is ruined. You can imagine that's not the only parent or she's not the only parent that feels that way. Those lawmakers in that letter to the DOE said that they want to see this app up and running before the next snowstorm. Again, at this point, it appears that will not happen. Live outside of City Hall, Erica Byfield News 4, New York.